Hey, here we are on the June 2012 exam, page four, starting with question 19. Which object will have the greatest change in electrical energy? Gosh, electrical energy. Everybody talks about that, but I bet you there's a, a formula for electrical energy. And uh, here we go. We're told that it's W, work, or electrical energy. Just like mechanical, energy is the ability to work, electrical. So let's see, that's uh, power times time, voltage times current times time, current square. Okay, so we've got some equations. Let's see, an electron, so that's charge, moving through a potential difference of two volts. We've got charge and volts. A metal sphere with a charge, they're moving through a potential difference of uh, two volts. So this is a much larger charge. An electron moved through a potential difference of four volts charge. And a metal sphere with a charge of 1 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs moved through a potential difference of 4 volts. All right, well, let's see if we can't find something here. Current, okay, I'm going to play with this. Now, my equation tells me that my energy is voltage times current times time. And here I'm told that my current is my charge divided by time. So the times can cancel out. Basically, I could write an equation that says that my electrical energy is equal to my voltage times my charge. So the highest charge times the highest voltage would give me the highest electrical energy. I'm going to go with uh, 4. Question 20. The resistance of a circuit remains constant. Which graph best represents the relationship between the current in the circuit and the potential difference provided by the battery? Well, let's see. A resistance is voltage over current. So a resistance is voltage over current. The resistance remains constant, uh, which means... Uh, if I've got a current versus potential difference, graph, remember a graph is basically a division problem. This divided by that, it turns into the slope. So basically, uh, the slope of this would be the reciprocal of resistance. So we want a straight line. That's not a straight line. That's not a straight line. Here's a straight line, and here's a straight line. But this particular graph indicates that there's no relation between current and potential difference. As potential difference goes up, current stays exactly the same. Well, that shouldn't be. They should be related. Current and, and voltage should be related as a function of resistance. And so uh, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to say that that is the correct answer, and uh, it's got to be. Question 21, the wavelength of a wave doubles as it travels from medium A into medium B. So the wavelength doubles. So that means the length of a wave gets twice as much. Compared to the wave in A, the wave in B, well, the frequency has to be the same. How many ever waves per second here? I got to have that same here. So it's not going to be uh, anything to do with frequency. So it's half the speed. It slows down or it speeds up. Speeds up, twice the speed. Question 22, the watt second. Watt second. Uh, power times time. Watt second. And what is that? Well, power. Let's go power in the watts. Uh, volt current. And let's see, what we got a watt second. Well, a watt would be power times time. Here we go. Watts times seconds is electrical energy. Work or electrical energy. Uh, energy. Watt second is energy. Question 23, which quantity has both a magnitude and direction? Okay, so we're looking for a vector quantity. Energy is not a vector. Uh, work. Force times distance. Force times distance. But you can do other kinds of work and power. Uh, impulse. Force times time. You apply a force for a period of time. 
This is going to have to be the vector. Impulse has got to be the vector in that problem. It's question 25, a 3 ohm resistor and a 6 ohm resistor are connected in parallel across a 9 volt battery. Which statement best compares the potential difference across each resistor? Well, um, if here's your battery, and here's your 6 ohm, and here's your 9 ohm, or here's your 9 ohm, here's your 6 ohm, it doesn't matter. In parallel, they each see the same potential difference from the battery. So the potential difference across the 6 ohm is the same as the potential difference across the 3 ohm. I'd say that. Potential difference across the 6 ohm is twice. Potential difference across the 6 ohm is half. Potential difference across the 6 ohm is four times. It's got to be the same. Question 26. A 3.6 volt battery is used to operate a cell phone for five minutes. The cell phone dissipates 0 0.064 watts of power during its operation. The current that passes through the phone is. All right, we've got volts, 3.6 volts. We've got time, that's going to be 5 times 60 seconds, so 300 seconds. And we've got uh, power in watts, 0 0.064 watts. So let's see, uh, and what do we want? Uh, the current. We want to know current. All right, I'm going to look at this. I don't think I need time. If power equals voltage times current, P equals VI, then uh, I is equal to P divided by V. So 0.064 divided by 3.6. So point zero something. I got point zero 0.0177. Well, let's go point zero 0.0127. The monochromatic beam of light has a frequency of 7.69 times 10 to the 14 hertz. What's the energy of a photon of this light? Energy? They give you the frequency of it. Say it's 7.69 times 10 to the 14 hertz. How do you relate energy to frequency? Energy of photon is Planck's constant times the frequency. Planck's constant H is uh, 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. Times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. Hertz is per second. So the energy is equal to uh, frequency times Planck's constant. So here's my technique when doing Regents questions. Um, I just multiply the first numbers. 7.69 times 6.63, and I got 50. I'm betting that's the correct answer.